Hi guys, my name is Intense003 and this is my first ever commentary. This is Battlefield 3 on the PC um, and this is Rush Mode on Operation Firestorm. I'm the Assault class using the M16A3. Um, I recently actually went through all the guns um, on Assault trying to get all the service stars for them so it's 100 kills per weapon. And I do really like the M16A3, it's so good over all the different ranges, whether it be short, medium, or long, it's just so effective. And um, so yeah, this is obviously, now this is a gun I'm going to be using all the time, so I'm going to try and get this one now. My current goal is to get this to 500 kills and get that neat dog tag for it. Um, I think I've done that for, I think the F2000, the AEK971, I've gotten that, so that's been alright. Yeah, now I'm going to be using this gun as this tank driver, it doesn't let me get in, just yeah, drive away from me. Um, on to my first topic of the video, which will be the close quarters DLC, what I think it could do for Battlefield and what um, I hope it does for Battlefield. Um, firstly, it is, if you don't know, it's going to be very, obviously as the name is, close quarters, so it's going to be a lot of short maps, small maps, kind of like what Metro is like, and I'm hoping it isn't exactly like Metro. You know, everyone using shotguns and grenade launchers and everything making it just well a gangbang basically most of the time. It's just horrible. So hopefully it's not like that but it still could be very good to increase the amount of people playing because at the moment there's a lot of people who have stopped playing the game, getting a little over it. I think it's at that point, what has it been out for? What? About six, seven months it's been out for. Some people are getting over it, so it's the right time definitely to release a DLC. People need that little bit of a spark to to start playing again, and I think it should be pretty good, because I know even for me, the last couple of months I've barely played the game, and you know I've been wanting to make this commentary for <laughs> so long, but I've just not felt like playing Battlefield. But hopefully this will definitely, definitely increase it. It's supposed to come out um, June 4th, or it will probably be June 5th here in Australia. And the rumour is that it's going to cost $24 for, was it, five maps, a couple of guns. And I think that's a bit overpriced. $24, no, 15 Yeah, I can understand $15. That sounds about the normal for um, a DLC pack like that. But 24 is probably a bit much. I said about $10 too much and um, hopefully that it will be a little better than and be worth the $24 that it could cost but of course there's another way to pay for this DLC and that will be the rumoured which is basically confirmed the Battlefield Premium which is supposed to also be coming out next week on June 5th, June 4th. Battlefield Premium, well if you don't know what it is, it's just kind of like COD Elite system, but I think it's moving more towards like a season pass where, like in Saints, Saints Row the Third, where you get all the DLC, you get uh, well the main DLC anyway for Saints Row and um, you get it straight away and you get it for cheaper than you buy it separately. So I think that's what they're going for with Battlefield Premium um, you also get some um, camos, weapon camos you'll get a special premium knife which is pretty cool and a black dog tag. Um, so if you get all that, and supposedly it's going to cost in Australia $80 and $60 in America. I can't remember what it's going to cost in the UK, but it's, I think it's £40. Um, but yeah, it's going to be $80 in Australia, and I just think that, um, which would be good if you get all the DLC, we're supposed to be a rumoured fifth as well, so five DLC packs, which would cost like $125 if you bought them separately. So price-wise, it's okay, though I do not like the fact that Australia does have to pay the extra $20 that America doesn't, which, and when we have the same exchange rate, so, we're, you know, a dollar each um, at the moment, so it doesn't make sense why EA has bumped up the price $20 for Australia when it's only 60 for America. I do understand that new games in America do cost 60 and in Australia they cost 100 so a bit different um, price wise for everything as I shoot my own teammate because I thought he was someone else but anyway like I said I just think it's a bit stupid they should probably lower it because it's probably going to be done online we're going to have to go through retail stores 
So why not make Australia pay twenty dollars less? Same as America, you're probably gonna get more people buying it, more people will be interested. It's just a it's a bad move from EA um, to do that. And well, like I said, hopefully the service that comes out is really good and worth the money because I know I'm probably gonna buy it. I'm a sucker, I know, I'm probably gonna buy it. But um we'll see what happens. Hopefully as well that they actually release a patch with the next one to try and get rid of this dark glitch because it is so annoying if you ever play on a server and you just randomly get killed by someone this one guy you know running around with a dart killing everyone with one shot it's just really unfair and really unbalanced it's just um, that yeah so that definitely needs to be changed and especially if they're gonna have close quarters coming out being all small maps the um, dart would just absolutely destroy everyone for those who don't know, it is the um, M26 mass, M26 dart, with the G3A3 with a heavy barrel, and it's just deadly. It's just so, so deadly. Um, so yeah, hopefully that does get changed and fixed, because if it doesn't, I can tell you there's going to be so many people um, tweeting to Battlefield EA and just telling them, listen, this needs to be changed please do it now, because people will get pretty cut about that, I think. But, um, yeah, so they definitely do that. Close quarters should be okay, and Battlefield Premium, it's looking to be okay with the season pass thing to be going on. But moving on, we'll talk about my channel at the moment. I do audio surf um, videos. I've been doing that for the last, well, since I started the channel, but I did have a previous channel which I was doing it, so I've been doing it for the past year. A lot of audio surf videos and they're not too bad but I'm um, currently doing a series on the EA Sports FIFA games and all the songs that come out of there because I love those games I buy it every year and I might do a couple on them, I don't know a couple of um, gameplay videos and that but I don't have a thing for the PlayStation but anyway I'm doing all those songs from there so all the best ones I've done I think 9 episodes and now I'm gonna another 10 left so um, that'll be done uh, in the meantime but I do want to keep doing these commentaries and this is obviously my first one um, on Battlefield 3 and on Team Fortress 2 that is one of my all time favorite games I love it so yeah um, as this round comes to an end we win pretty easily they didn't really do much I um, get a couple of awards here and I've gone 8 and 0 which I'm pretty wrapped about and so yeah leave a like leave a comment let me know how it went thank you very much guys I'll see you next time